I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and before we get to today's unpaid advertisement, I wanted to uh, take a moment and remind you of a certain key facts about my current status. I am not, as is widely misunderstood, undead. I am reanimated. I do not require feasting on the living, either by their blood or brains. All I need to uh, maintain my current state is to eat about ten times my body weight in sugar, like a hummingbird. With no further caveat, uh, Mr. Kessler has requested uh, your time. Thank you, Mr. Lovecraft. Uh, hi guys, it's Lehman. Uh, with the ongoing pandemic concerns, a lot of the big conventions have been cancelled this summer, and that's devastating for our game designer friends, particularly independent game designers. So I wanted to, to take a moment and talk about a, a new game that I've come across uh, that I think would be particularly interesting uh, for y'all. It's called Thousand Year Old Vampire by Tim Hutchings. Now, this game is all about playing a vampire throughout history, but I think it'll be particularly interesting to y'all because, well, horror and whatnot, but also it's a game that can be played solo. Uh, in this game, you're going to make a character, pick a period of history for this character to start off in, and then over the course of sort of rolling dice and going through various pages and prompts and questions, you're going to find out what happens to your vampire. Where do they wind up? What sort of adventures do they go on? Who winds up hunting them? How do they feed? It's a, it's a really fun, dark storytelling game, kind of a cross between a role-playing game, a choose-your-own-adventure, and a creative writing exercise. Um, one of the really cool things that the designer of this is doing right now, uh, literally this day, this episode comes out, is uh, he is donating the uh, proceeds from sales of this uh, to help uh, with uh, bailout funds and to support a lot of the demonstrations that are going on across the United States. So this is a great time to uh, get the book if you're at all interested or the PDF, which is available online. We'll have all that information in the link below. Um, but uh, don't worry, uh, you're not going to get away without seeing some example of play. Mr. Lovecraft has agreed to show us how the game works. Decades past and questions surface as to your childhood cat. Check a skill and get a pony. So there you go. It's a really fun book. It's beautifully designed. I think you'll find that if you can get a hands on the physical copy, you'll really enjoy it. And if you get it today, you're going to be supporting a good cause. Uh, that's going to do it from all of us here. Ask Lovecraft. Bye.